What is going on everybody? It's me Flo coming at you for the 10th week. I want to say welcome to the channel, Faith Push by Life. And today I'm going to do a little something different. It's not really me complaining, but there's a lot of terms out there or phrases like colloquial terms or colloquialisms or idioms or just words that people say that they don't say correctly at all. And I'm not just talking like they use it out of context. I'm talking they, they have the term completely messed up or it's just like made up or you'll see. So I'm going to list a few. And I'm going to end it with the one that just irks me to like no end. Alright, so seeing as I will, this is the first one I'm going to say, I will use first come, first serve. And it's not, it's not that. It's not first come, first serve. It's first come, first served. I like to say first come, first serve would mean that when you show up, you're going to be serving everybody. And, and that's not, that's not what it, I don't know. So first come, first serve, as opposed to what it's supposed to be, first come, first served. When people say one in the same instead of one and the same, it, it it's not one in the same. You, you're not putting one in the same. It's one and the same. By and large. By and large, like you want me to buy in a bigger size? Like, <laughs> by and large. It, it's not by in quantity of something. It's like by and large. I, I don't know. For all intensive purposes, it's like you have a purpose, like it's an intensive purpose, like for all intents and purposes. I don't, I don't know. That one's always kind of made me laugh though, so I, it bothers me, but it's still kind of hilarious when people say it because I can just like see them being really intensive purpose. I, I don't know. Case in point. It's a, it, it really, it's like it's a case in point. It's not case and point. Like, are you sure? <sighs> revert back to when people say revert back to something it's like you're gonna revert so you're gonna go back back to something hey let's um go back back to something so you'd kind of be going forward i don't know it's, it's not so yeah revert just not not revert back to because it's like a double negative all right so this next one is actually becoming a an idiom in and of itself because it's been so misused that it's it's developing into its own phrase honed in on instead of homing in on something and this really bothered me because in the military they would say this wrong all the time people would say honed in on instead of honed in on and and now it's been misused so much that it's becoming its own idiom <sighs> these next three are probably the top three that really just they, they really bother me for some reason they just irk me to no end i could care less when someone's so upset and they say i could care less it's like, so you, you care. They're like, no, I could care less. It's like, so, so then you do care because if you could care less, that means you actually do care. It's, I couldn't care less maybe is what you're, what you're going for. Maybe, maybe you couldn't care less because you don't care at all. Or, or do you care and you could care less? I, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. When I hear these things and I, I, I can literally die, like I will literally die when people's, it's like, no, you, you're not going to literally die. You're, you're not literally, you're not going to actually die. Okay, so this last one has probably bothered me for, I mean, since I, since I first heard it, it just, it didn't sound right and it just, it just irked me and it just, I didn't like it. But now, like, that I know that I don't like it and people say it, I, irregardless, it, there's no reason, don't, don't. Irre if you say irregardless, <laughs> sorry for the rant. But that's how I feel, and I don't apologize. I don't. I don't apologize. All right, so when I hear these things, like, it's one thing whenever I'm arguing with someone, I want to kind of throw it back in their face, like, oh, did you mean, you know, just to be like a smart ass? I, I don't, just because I know it's going to exasperate the situation, or just, so I don't do it. I, I know it's a cheap shot, so I don't. I just kind of bite my tongue. But when it really, really bothers me is when someone's trying to be sincere or be genuine about, like, something that they're trying to explain to you, or, or like, how to have a heartfelt moment or something, and they say something wrong, it... I bite my tongue because I know it's not the right place in time, but it completely takes the wind out of the sails when they're trying to sell me something. I, I can't help but think about what they're saying and why they need to be corrected or slapped or something. I don't know. Okay, so this week was a quick video. I was actually going to be a little bit longer. I was going to go into things that people write incorrectly, and there's a whole bunch. So this will, this might be a part one of a part two that I'll put out later, probably not next week, but sometime in the future. Uh, I. 
I know I shouldn't be so petty and I know that they shouldn't bother me as much as they do but it's always the little things like this that get me like it's not really the big things that bother me so much but little things like this I, they just they just pick at you you know they just and do you agree does this bother you do you say some of these things if you do you you shouldn't but if you do let me know in the comments um if you like this kind of content and you want to see more go ahead and click that like button and if you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, go with the flow i'll get you there